So, uh, poured the walls on Friday, and yesterday and today I've been working on fitting the mud sills to the top of the wall. I have all the mud sills mounted onto the anchor bolts and hold down bolts, but now I have to go through and route out space for the uh, washers and bolts. Uh, so these are the, the square bolts that have to be hold down, held down. And I'm putting a, enough, sinking them down enough so that the, the plate washer, uh, this is the square plate washer, the plate washer and the bolt will be below the surface of the uh, mud sill so that when I um, mount the trusses and the rim joists on top of the mud sill that I don't have to do too much work to get them to fit. Uh, but this does seem to be a lot of work. So the, the mud sills are specified as three by six, which means that they're two and a half inches deep, but structurally they're only required to be one and a half inches thick. So structurally it's meant to you know be routed down so that the uh, plate washers and bolts will fit so at this point i'm uh, i'm about done for the day i'm maybe a third of the way done with routing and I'm really trying to get this done so I can get the uh, mud sills mounted, the sill, the sill sealer mounted, and then I can get the scaffolding and braces returned and stop being charged for those. But it's much easier to be working on the mud sill with the scaffolding. I also went and scheduled an appointment to have the uh, steel beam field measured so that I can get the steel beam installed. Um, I'm going to try and get that installed fairly soon and then I've also been talking to the truss company to get the trusses manufactured and I expect the trusses to be manufactured and delivered end of October. So end of October I expect to have the topping slab installed and be working on the light well and the outside um, waterproofing.